what's going on guys um welcome to crywood and uh, welcome to the next uh, video on uh, uh, learning bootstrap uh, as promised in the last video we said that uh, we're gonna briefly introduce you guys to the javascript so in this uh, video we briefly just one video we're gonna introduce you guys to the javascript and tell you guys so you guys understand what javascript is because you guys already downloaded um, a few files from uh, uh, this not this one but wait a second all right so you guys uh, bootstrap and you guys already familiar with CSS and you guys haven't seen this one so I just uh, quickly go through uh, with the JS as you guys uh, uh, see this one CSS and JS all right so this is a javascript javascript is embedded language it means it, you guys can a scripted language it's not a general purpose language so i'll put it here one thing javascript is java script is not i'll repeat again javascript is not not java java language so you guys keep that in mind if you guys haven't seen this one before and we go to the salon again so I'll repeat that JavaScript is not not Java language because Java language is a general purpose programming is very very powerful programming language but JavaScript it lives inside the browser inside any browser you guys see the javascript it's not it's not a java uh, language because java language massive it's a programming language um, uh, owned by oracle and created by uh, sun micro systems but javascript was, is created by these guys uh, the firefox so javascript lives inside the browser uh, it's the same as we go there and uh, create our CSS. We can create our JavaScript. So there is two two methods of creating JavaScript in your browser. All right. So we go to this salon, to the assets, or you guys, um, to the assets, or you guys want to go to the your previous cool shop if you guys want to test your JavaScript here. All right, so we go here uh, because I've got both. You guys go and first of all fire up your exam. So I already did mine to save time. All right, so we go here, cool shop, and images style. You guys go here and create your um, folder and name it JS. Always your fold your folder name JS, and inside that folder, my my js j you guys can put them my first js all right so and the extension is always js so we put extension js it means now the browser sees this as a javascript so because the extension is very important so if you guys here in this style you put a css but in the JS, you guys put a JS. If you guys see a small one, it comes in JS. All right, so what we do is that we put an alert. This is my message from JS. JS file. Tada. So we put that, we just displaying a testing message and we're putting alert. This is my message from JS file, tada. So we wanna um, display this. There are a few methods. As um, you guys seen that um, we come here and we uh, display our uh, script file or something. Uh, it's the same thing with the JavaScript. With the JavaScript, we can do the same. So you guys have the option to put inside the header, inside the head. 
you guys can put on the, on the top of your uh, after the body but you guys can put at the end of the of uh, your program so normally the convention is programmers prefer to put it here so if you guys go and put a script so I say it says uh, uh, type is um, JavaScript and that's how we put it you guys can put it here as well always want to uh, display anything you guys can put it here or you guys can uh, uh, display this it's up to you so it's up to the individual how they want to display their JavaScript we put a um, our uh, type here so because the programmers prefer to put it at the end of their uh, um, at the end of their browser like here before the footer why because if you guys put it um, in here the um, browser executes the reads line by line and when it's encountered this JavaScript it displays the JavaScript before it renders any other uh, file in your uh, browser so so we how we gonna display this one if you guys put a text javascript and you put a source uh, we put our js and we put a myjs.js myjs.js same rule applies if you guys wanna uh, uh, display your images because the images we also put a source my javascript so now our javascript is ready so if you go here in our browser and if you display this and you guys see that our message this is my message from js file tara that that's displays because you guys see from now every now and then that um, there is annoying messages uh, displayed in your browser this is because the javascript that's uh, uh, prompt this is the JavaScript alert. So this is coming from uh, from uh, the, our JS, which is this one. So that's how we created JS, and we created a file inside here, and here we displayed. So I'll show you guys why uh, we refrain to put our JavaScript on top. So just to let you guys know. So I know this is the first uh, time you guys encountered JavaScript, but just as a, because you guys are becoming the professional web developers. All right, so we're gonna save and we display this one. So we refresh. See, uh, as you guys notice that nothing's showing. This is the, my message from JS file Tara. It's, it's got the same message, but the only problem is that HTML is still waiting for us to press OK before it renders the rest of the file because the rest of the file, which is here, they're all waiting. So now the whole thing's waiting just for us to press OK and it then it renders the file. So when we press OK, it comes in because the JavaScript is holding this hostage, as you can say. But if you guys put your JavaScript say for example all right so if you put it uh, anywhere say here say we can we've got our menu and if you guys put your JavaScript here now we display this as you guys see that it um, it um, it is rendering all this product sign login everything but it's not displaying our uh, sidebar in our image which is our sidebar is here image here because uh, the browser is waiting for us to press this all right so now this is uh, out of the way so you guys got a feeling of what javascript is i hope uh, what how to place JavaScript because uh, after this bootstrap uh, we are gonna start this uh, JavaScript series so you guys gonna gonna get a very good grip uh, to JavaScript so how is the JavaScript JavaScript is like a C++ C it's, it's exactly it's got the same syntax with the exception it's got a war so sometime you guys put a war um, and you guys don't have this um, alert too
Uh, I'm going to get rid of this alone because it's a bit confusing. So we come here and you guys see this alert and alerts. So prompt uh, uh, does the same uh, functionality. It comes in and asks the user to press something. All right, so this is one method. I repeat, this is one method of uh, doing the JavaScript you guys can do in your browser as well. So how to do that in the browser? All right, so I know you guys, this is your first time you guys uh, doing JavaScript. I'll say it again because uh, you haven't seen maybe this JavaScript before, but just let you know, know that if you guys with a few practice, you guys uh, can be master. All right, if you go to inspector, that we said that inspector is for uh, this CSS. If you go to console, the console is for uh, JavaScript. So that's how we put a in JavaScript. So we put a var name is equal to, you guys can put your own name. If you put a yes Danny, and now if I put a name, it comes in yes Danny here because the JavaScript reads this. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so for you guys to see. So the browser checks this that ah oh, that name is uh, like this and it displays the message. All right, so we can do this way as well, and we can do war war. Say you want to find your age, which most of the people they don't want they want a prompt how old are you we put a how old are you and we are closing here if you guys done the c c plus plus you guys see that this is very similar to c c plus plus because it comes in uh, at the end we close our line like this and if you do this and you guys see that it comes in how old are you you guys can put any age and say if you want to copy this and you guys can put in your uh, JS file it's gonna have the same message so we go here see this comes the same message it's got the same uh, uh, like alert the prompt comes in but the, with the problem is that because we put our script here in executing before our main so we go there down there and put our um, script at the bottom of this um, file all right, so I know you guys, uh, I don't know how many times I said this is a bit confusing, but uh, I'll just want to show you guys how old are you. I'll put, um, I don't want to tell my uh, real age, so I'll put a 40 maybe. All right, so this is, uh, as I said before, in our HTML series that this console area is for JavaScript. You guys can test your JavaScript. Um, you guys can put a var wall one is equal to two and var value two uh, say is equal to five so var total is equal to war one plus sorry wall one and wall two value one okay wall one plus wall two okay so now we do our total and if you put our total the answer is seven because it's already got the um, input value 1 is 22 and value 2 is um, 5 and at the bottom if we do the um, total is going to be value 1 plus value 2 is equal total is equal to 7 so that's how the java script work inside the browser is it's very cool uh, scripting language 
and it lives inside i repeat again it lives inside this um, browser so anytime the user if you guys make a website and put your javascript anywhere anywhere inside this browser the client can see it that the user can see your uh, your code just as user can see your um, css and can see your html code so this is how it is all right so the, the third method of uh, applying we get rid of this and we go here and we put our um, at the head section all right so we go before our body we go at the head section and we can add our code here all right so we put a script okay so it's giving me because we remove this one this bit so if you put your script here text javascript and inside the script we can put a war i will put the age is equal to prompt how old are you how old are you might all right so we put it like that we know that this is going to display in our header so we get rid of this uh, uh, console and it says how old are you so i'll put my um, age say 40 i'll repeat okay so we go here so so the we, we type our script on the top and we do the rest at the bottom all right so i'll show you guys that's we put another script here text javascript we put another script all right so now we do switch as you guys if you guys done the c c plus plus switch switch i just give you the feeling switch if it's true yeah case so the first case so what's the first case age is uh, less than 18 all right so you put alert what's alert sorry uh, you are too young to visit our website so if you want to create a website for over 18 so you guys uh, can do that so and we put a break all right so in the case two we go again we put a or you guys can uh, copy because we are a bit lazy to you guys can copy this and put it again so if the if the user is less than 18 that's how we're going to display so what if the user is over 18 so less than um, say uh, less than 50 you are too young to visit or welcome to our welcome to our website so we put a welcome to our website all right so that's the third case all right so we just in case if you want to put something that if the age is greater than say 70 sorry you are too old we put a sorry sorry you 
you are too old to visit our website. So we put a if the age is less than 80, we're gonna prompt alert that you're too young. If his age is less than 50, we say welcome to our website. If his age, age is greater than or equal to 70, we say that uh, you are too old to our uh, to see our website. All right, so we close here and we go to our uh, website. We come here. How old are you? So I'll put a 12. It says, sorry, you're too young to visit our website because this code here is executing, guys. Because about the header, we put it that the uh, age, how old are you? And here we are uh, switching, we evaluating the user's age. Um, and how old is, uh, is it? Uh, less than 18 or uh, less than 50 or uh, greater than or equal to 70. It's, if you guys are familiar with Java, if you guys are familiar with C Sharp, C, C++, that's exactly the exactly same syntax with the switch statement. So this is one uh, method. You guys can put copy this and you can put in your um, JS file here. It doesn't matter. You guys can put it here, no problem. All right, so if you put it here, so we all uh, putting it here, our switch, our switch here. All right, so we go there back at the HTML and we get rid of this script. Or you can leave it and if you want to put your source file here doesn't matter all right so you can uh, do the rest here you guys can put a source src so you put a js my uh, i'll put it at the bottom here okay so i'll get rid of this my js dot js js dot js okay so we are asking the user on top and we're responding the user from our file okay so we go back again it says how old are you so if we say my age is say i'm 30 it says welcome to our website guys uh, i don't want to confuse you but in our this file this script is executing from our head and the rest is inside our uh, js file so uh, that's how javascript work inside the browser as i said javascript is not is not uh, java so we stay away from this um, uh, naming naming confusion if you guys might see that the js oh my god js is java javascript is java no you're wrong javascript is scripting language it's not a general purpose language it's, it lives inside the uh, browser so if you guys go and do control view control u and you say you can see our uh, javascript here you can see our javascript anything you guys can put it the user can see it so if you guys can go to any any website you guys can see the javascript inside the website so uh, it there are other languages that like a php you can see but javascript you can see so this is our javascript file if you see that the, uh, the user can see our javascript anything you put it in javascript user can see it all right, so this is a brief uh, discussion and we said that uh, you guys can use this. This area, console, you guys can practice. Um, and soon we're gonna, and I've got a good news. Uh, I'm gonna promise you guys that I'm good soon. I'm gonna start the JavaScript. Uh, and with as soon as we conclude uh, finish this uh, bootstrap and we are experts in the bootstrap 
all I wanted to do is just uh, give you guys good grip on uh, JavaScript, introduce JavaScript, what JavaScript is, uh, how it works, where, where we can put our files, uh, we can create our files and things like that. So I hope you guys uh, liked the video and you guys understood all this, the concept of JavaScript. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna start this our uh, continue our uh, bootstrap, and once we get a uh, very good grip on uh, bootstrap, then we start this uh, JavaScript. So I'll go step by step again with you guys and understand and just let you guys know that the JavaScript is object oriented uh, programming. So it's got like we can create an object, we can create a DOM. Uh, document object model and we can do a lot of things that uh, you guys uh, will become a master in JavaScript so and you guys uh, enjoy JavaScript because JavaScript is fun all right uh, thanks uh, for watching if you guys got any question or comment just leave it below otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video and bye